Here's a woman suffering from advanced breast cancer, the kind that has spread to her bones, the kind that has led to fracture of her spine and made her short remaining lifespan miserable. This woman you may identify with. It may be a relative, a friend, a close family member, or maybe even you and I one day. She may have already gone through a course of chemotherapy or have completed radiation therapy and maxed her dose limits. She may have undergone several invasive surgeries or consumed systemic drugs for her bones, all of which may have fallen short in comprehensively treating her tumors or pain, and in essence, in improving her quality of life. However, today, I'm happy to tell you that our tenacious and highly estrogen-packed team of scientists and engineers has been able to advance a new novel radiofrequency-based technology that can help locally and minimally invasively treat tumors of such cancer patients and move towards creating personalized medicine. My PhD project is highly collaborative among the university, hospital, and industry, and my specific contribution to cancer research is through experimentation with radiofrequency ablation aimed at destroying tumors that have spread to bone. Completely fascinating stuff, if I do say so myself. So in brief, what is radiofrequency anyway? Radiofrequency is that part of the electromagnetic spectrum that is bounded by 3 hertz and 300 gigahertz. Other famous parts of the electromagnetic spectrum that you may be familiar with are microwaves or infrared or x-rays. How does radiofrequency work to treat and ablate cancerous tissues? Well, send a C electrical current within the radiofrequency spectrum to specific body parts, and it results in bringing the body tissue temperature up, and essentially, the exposed regions get cooked. In this case, the cancer cells get killed and dealt with, never mind the debilitating radiation therapy that leaves you weak with side effects or invasive surgeries that are much more harmful to the body, or at least maybe, complement such conventional techniques with radiofrequency ablation as an adjunct because it is local, targeting only the tumor itself and the tumor tissue itself and none of the um, neighboring body uh, structures, and it does not require any open procedure because radiofrequency is delivered through a tiny probe that is about one-tenth of a diameter of an average-sized pen. And for the clinicians, the treatment itself is very short and simple, reducing the technical prowess associated with predicate devices with great potential for improved outcomes. I mean, isn't that amazing? So, what's the hottest update? Well, our new device has been able to address several of the issues related to RF technologies, such as small zones of ablation that could not cover an entire tumor or charring and carbonization. We have been able to complete preclinical studies in tumor-bearing rabbit bones as well as pig spines and have shown that the device and the technique work well and safely. We have shown that even right near the spinal cord in the pig vertebrae, the actual device can create consistently large regions of treatments within the bone without damaging any of the nerve or the spinal cord itself in the pig, all of which are actually very similar in size to humans. We've obtained FDA approval and have just moved the device to its initial clinical trial phase in order to test its safety and feasibility in humans, because we know it will be effective. So just to give you a quick taste of it, here it is the device in actual action, cooking up chick chicken tissue. Thankfully, with the rapid advancements of such great technologies, formidable challenges in clinical settings are more easily overcome. So next time you hear of a case of cancer that's spread to bone, you will know that there are now radiofrequency-based therapies clinically available as real options. Thank you.